Okay, we got a 2015 Accord, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. Same process to remove this screen right here, the radio and everything right here. Um, down here, there's a bolt right there. You can see 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take off my tool right there. So that's a 10 millimeter right there. And then uh, we pop this cover off here. I'm gonna show you that guys that. And then you're gonna have two bolts right here. I'm gonna show you all that in a minute. Okay, so I'm losing that bolt that I'm turning now. So this this is what holds the radio in. This is what it is. I'm gonna put this down. So this cover right here has a sensor right here. So all I did was pop this guy with a screwdriver. It pops open. Uh, the lid on the top right here. Where's the lid? The lid just you're gonna put the screwdriver in here and you're gonna pop it. This is the little guy right here. So this guy pops open. They got all these screws, uh, all these clips. Then you're gonna have a Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver. And this whole thing should come out very soon. Okay, so that was the wrong bolt. It's not a 10 millimeter. As you can see, there's two bolts around it right there. There's one right there. And there's one right under this harness right here. So if you push this harness, you should be able to see it right there. Um, they don't feel like a 10 millimeter. They feel like an 8 millimeter. I'll see if that works on it. Okay, now I'm going to go back. I can see it really good with this camera so what I'm gonna do is let's see if I can fish that little guy right there okay yep it's an eight millimeter it's two of them so I'm gonna get them both out and then we should be able to take out the radio this one and I'll get to the second one okay I got the first one out as you can see the hole right there is empty now I need to get to the one far to this side the two 10 millimeters are holding in that module. I don't know what that module is for. The retired pressure sensor. But the other two are going straight through the radio. There you go. My ratchet just turns. There you go. It's loose. Okay. Let's see if I get this off by hand now. It's hard to get to, so I'm gonna keep it going with my tool. Once it's out, we'll try to pick out the radio. Okay, let me attempt with the, just the socket and extension. There we go. And this guy's out. Let's see if the radio comes out now. We're gonna try and take out the radio. There you go. So the whole thing, it's gonna have a whole bunch of wiring, so we're gonna have to disconnect everything back there. Um, let's disconnect everything. Okay, what we're trying to get to is this switch, okay? We're trying to get to this damn switch, because this guy put it in, but check this out. It's loose, I think he forgot to put one of the bolts in. And uh, he did it himself at home. But what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna get this radio out. Are you able to take out the connectors? There you go. Are you able to take out the connectors? No. Okay, so we're gonna pause this video for a moment. Take out all the connectors. Okay, go ahead. So we're taking out all the connectors. And when you put everything back together, make sure everything is back together where it belongs. Or your GPS, radio, something might not work. No more connector. Just don't yank it till you know there's I see wires on the bottom too, so I don't know. It's... Yeah, yeah, you're squeezing correct. That's good. Squeeze that and pull. There you go. The radio's out. 
So I got a video just about removing all this because he dropped the credit card one time here. So you got a whole bunch of screws, clips, and uh, this whole thing just pops up. And there's a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. That was not necessary to take out. So next, we're going to take off this little guy and this little guy. Go ahead. He's trying to pop this, but this wouldn't come out. He even tried to pop it before. He damaged a bit, but it's not going to come out because there's screws underneath. And uh, once that is out, there's going to be a whole bunch of connectors behind that. So go easy on it. Okay, you got it. Why you said wait? No, my bit. Oh, bit. Where's a flat head screwdriver? There you go. Let's see. It's gotta have. It's gotta have clips underneath here. So you see these clips here. So. It's not popping right. You see this clip? There's a clip back here. And this guy should come off. Go ahead. There you go. So no luck so far. I was hoping there's a gap here to get to this, but there's still no gap. So this whole thing got to come off. So trying to get to that switch. Honda could have just made this as a one piece. But nope. So this guy's got to come out. Let's see if we can see from right here. So this guy... Did put a screw in, but he never tightened it. So yeah, he never tightened this little guy. So what are we gonna do now? We're gonna keep taking off stuff. We're gonna pop this whole thing off. Okay, take off these side covers here. There you go. The other side too, I believe so. He still thinks he doesn't need to take out the whole thing, right? <laughs> yeah, he tried to manage it, right? He yanked this. He said he got this thing. At least he got it in. But that wasn't the problem. It's a bad battery. So what we're gonna do is, okay, this whole. I want this piece out. I want this housing out. I don't care what we do. Cause I see some things messed up back there. And make sure you know these two corners is gonna throw right through here. But right now we're gonna push it down. Okay, so let's. Uh, this is what he did, I think. The... I see a screw in there, but it's looking funny. So I'm gonna pause the video here once we get this guy out. And you gotta go straight, like straight. Probably open this glove box and go right from the edge here back here somewhere right here so let's pause this video because my camera's probably not gonna have all that memory but i could try to probably fix it from right here but i see something's broken in there so let's see how it goes